Okay, so today I'm going to take you through a few classroom management apps that I use um, just to help expedite things like grading or um, timers that you could use. So just a couple of really short, quick apps that are helpful in the classroom. So um, the first one I want to show you is called Groovy Grader, and it's real simple. Um, if you put the number of questions in the top of how many questions a test or an assignment had or a project, um, so let's say you have 30 questions and you hit enter, it will show you what percent um, the score would be and how many they got correct. You can also show how many they got wrong, but there's lots of functions too in the settings over here on the right. Um, you can have it not show the number wrong and just show how many they get correct or vice versa. Um, you can have it at a decimal place. You can use half points, which makes it even more accurate. Um, you can do all of these things here in the settings. You can also make the font smaller, larger, depending on if you're displaying it on the board. Um, you can adjust the orientation to take a screenshot if you wanted to, to go ahead and um, uh, put it up on the board or uh, whatever you want to use with it. So that's just a real simple grader. If your students like to ask the question like mine do all the time, what does 17 out of 30 mean? And that kind of thing. Well, let's hope that's not the score they're asking about, but <laughs> um, you get the idea. So another one I really like to use that's super easy. If you're looking for um, a quote of the day kind of thing, there's these two daily quote and just quotes. So you can open these and you can see that um, they have different quotes. Unfortunately, this one's all in um, portrait mode. So let me see if the other one is in landscape. The daily quote, I think, can be in either orientation. So the daily quote here, um, you can get some quotes. You can also kind of scroll to previous days to see if there are other ones that you may um, like to use there. And apparently it's frozen on me right now, of course. Why not? But it's another one that you can just use for um, quotes to put on your board. Like I like to put a quote of the day, um, but I don't change it as often as I might like to. Uh, another one, some timers are a sand timer. This is a really good one. And you can just go ahead and um, see that it's just a digital sand timer. They do have advertisements, but I don't find that they're honestly that... Um, they don't like inhibit your ability to use the timer. But what I really like about this one is there's many different sounds. I'm just going to turn the volume up to make sure you can hear them that you could choose from. So you can just kind of go through. So clearly tons of them. Okay, or you can have it set to no sound. Um, you want to set it, just hit the reset button on the top after you stop it, and then you can set your timer this way. So that's another real easy one, um, and I just like it because it has a lot of um, different sounds, and because it's a really good visual representation, you can see the digital sand running out. Um, this one, I'll be honest, I've only used it once this year because it's really distracting, and my students, it it can go well. It depends on, I guess, your group. Certain classes of mine are really distracted by it um, because you basically just set a timer by hitting info. So I'll just set like a super short one so you guys can see what a 10 second timer. And then you light the fuse and as you can see, it just goes down. And then at the very end, here it is. Yes, so you can see it can be kind of distracting, but the kids do love it, I will say that. Um, if you pick a longer time, obviously the fuse would just take a longer time to um, finish up. Uh, another couple, just short ones, this app called Icebreakers is really great. They explain what icebreakers are, but if you're just looking for icebreakers, along the bottom is uh, different categories. So I will just go to group names here, or group games rather, and by situation, maybe you want something outdoors, you want something fun, you want something that's for the classroom. So they give you a whole bunch. This is just for one particular category. And you just go ahead and pick one, and it kind of just gives you a brief um, introduction about it, what, how long it will take, how many participants you can do, and gives you instructions for how to complete the icebreaker. So that's another really good short app. 
and um, a dice roller um, is a great thing to have on here. Okay, so you roll the two dice and it adds them together for you and reaches the sum at the top. There are some settings. Okay, you can have three dice, four dice, five dice, six dice. So anywhere between one and six, it will roll them and add them up. Okay, there also is sound. You can actually hear. I don't know why it's not working right now, but uh, I wonder if it's because I'm recording. So weird. But you can, when you roll the dice, it sounds like dice are rolling. So that's another one that I really like to use. And this one, for any of you who know Kagan, again, is in the landscape. So sorry about the change of orientation. But um, I have tons of lists in here for things like brain breaks, student roles. For me, like I have roles um, with desk color. So you just go ahead and click continue. Random, sorry, that's really loud. And it will pick a color. So if you wanted everybody at the purple seats, which would for me be one out of every group of four students. Um, for this one also, I have student seat numbers. So I can go ahead, since I have five classes, and click random and say person number three. You can go ahead and create a list for every class if you wanted to and enter in every student's name and it will give you a random uh, number. I also have random number generator where I put some numbers in here. Uh, I do have also team numbers. So I have nine teams if I wanted to call on a random team. You can either hit random and just keep hitting next and then I like that they have the history of what has been chosen for second and third. Or if you wanted it to be something where it's not going to um, repeat and pick the same thing twice, you can do no repeats. You can also have it go in order alphabetically. So there's a few options on this one for the name selector. So that's um, name selector. And that's pretty much it. There's one more random number, good for probability. So you set your minimum and maximum here, and then literally just click generate random number, and it will generate a list of numbers from 0 to 20, and they do show the history. If you see down there, it's adding to my history. So you can then export those random numbers if it's something that you wanted to save and know what the list was for a lesson maybe the next day, or you can clear the history out and start again, making a new list. So um, again, that's just a random number generator. So these are just a few of the apps that I really like to use. Um, just quick little apps that help me throughout my teaching. Um, and if you have any questions, you can go ahead and comment below. Happy Teacher Tech Tuesday.